Hey guys, Break here, and today I'm going to be helping you choose your perfect server. So if you're looking to perhaps move realm, or you're just interested in looking at the kind of realms that are out there, and what your realm is like in terms of population, in terms of its economy, in terms of its PvP or PvE rankings, then I hope you find this video useful. So to do this, we're going to be using three different tools, and they'll all be linked in the description below. So the first is realmpop.com. Uh, this basically shows the server's size and you can sort it by sort of what's the biggest alliance on EU say, what's the biggest horde, what's the ratio saying. You wouldn't want to be a horde on Aegwyn, look at this, 21 alliance to every one horde. Uh, and then total. But yeah, when you go onto the website you'll have to choose between US and EU. It'll then just load everything up. You just scroll down to here. And I definitely recommend using total first. This is going to show you and rank you the most populated servers. Now, these are not completely up to date, I believe, but I'm pretty sure they're relatively accurate. They're uh, relatively well kept up. So if you want a decent idea of where your realm kind of ranks in terms of its size etc then this is going to be really useful for you one thing again i'll say is that sometimes they have exactly the same numbers like look at these five realms here all have 335 that just means that they're linked guys so all of these realms were really low pop they join them all together and now in total they have 334 so don't start trying to add all these up saying hey this bunch of servers must have the most they've got over a million now it doesn't work like that, so overall this server now has 334 because it's been uh, linked. You know, Blizzard joined the servers uh, a few years ago to get rid of some of the low pops. And yeah, obviously if you want to find your server, you just press name and then rank it wherever. I'm on Sylvanus, so here we go, 546k. Now for me, this is kind of perfect. I spend a lot of time trying to choose servers and I chose this one very specifically so I'll give you an idea of how I choose server right for me and then you can either copy it or probably don't copy because your goals won't be the same as mine but at least this will give you an idea of what you can do first of all I enjoy pvp servers I don't really know why I've just kind of been on them quite a lot and I think it's funny that how you can attack people I think it adds a bit of flavor to the game obviously it's annoying if you're getting ganked but that doesn't happen too often. Anyway, so I wanted to choose PvP. So immediately when I looked at total, I can rule out the PvE such as Silver Moon, Draenor, Argent Dawn, all those big ones. Secondly, I am playing Alliance already. So when I wanted to move server, I didn't want to change to Horde. So I was only going to pick the ones that are Alliance heavy. Because even though for like economy means it doesn't really matter anymore because auction houses are balanced as in this is the same auction house for both Alliance and Horde. Uh, I still wanted to have you know more guilds available on the Alliance side, so something like Outland would have been good for me. Uh, Gordani, well that wouldn't because that's a Russian server. Uh, Ravencrest, etc, etc. Now that's another thing to bear in mind. You've got to make sure you check region because as we say, if we go on to total, there is Russian, a couple of Russians that are up there. There's German as well. Where are they? Here are the German ones. Got a big Germans, big French ones. So obviously if you are one of those languages, you might want to pick that. But I know most people kind of prefer being on the English servers anyway. Unless obviously you're Russian and you don't speak English, then definitely don't come to an English server. Unless you want to learn English, maybe that would be a cool way to learn. I don't really know. don't really know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um... So yeah, I was choosing Alliance, the high pop Alliance. You can also rank by Alliance. So I'm on Sylvanus, which is the fifth highest pop Alliance, if I can count properly, yeah, which is good for me. Uh, and it's kind of the fourth highest pop Alliance because we can take out the Russians. And for me as well, I didn't want a ridiculously populated server for a couple of reasons. Number one, when you go on one of these servers, the trade chat is just moving the entire time. You can hardly see anything. Some of you might like that, some of you might not. Also, in terms of the economy, if you go on one of these absolute massive servers, such as Outland, such as Tychondrius or whatever on the US, I'm not actually sure what's the highest pop US, 
luckily we can check with this tool. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to be on Outland or Silvermoon because they were kind of too big for me. I'd have to be undercutting the entire time. Obviously, you guys know I do a lot of auction house stuff, so the economy is a big part of the game for me. And I didn't want to have to deal with a super high pop. However, I did want to have to deal with a high pop because I want things to sell. And I recommend to everyone, you want to pick a high or at least a medium to high pop. It's just no fun being on a low pop, guys. There might be a bit more sort of sense of community, but there's no point even having that community if there's not enough players to play the game with. So I always recommend a medium to high pop somewhere like anything above 300k, but preferably above 400k. If you can get above 400k, you're in the business. If you're below 400k, it's not great. And for me, I'd always go above 500k. Uh, again, so where's Sylvanas? 546, that was kind of perfect for me. So you guys get the idea. This is kind of how I chose my server. You can obviously choose yours. Do you want uh, a Horde server? Look, it's not even that big server hoard, but still 670 people is quite a lot compared to uh, Sylvanas, which is 460. So maybe a good server, if I wanted to be hoard, a good server for me might have been Torin Mill, or maybe uh, not Soul Flare, that's Russian, uh, not Black or maybe Ragnaros, but uh, maybe Twisty Nether actually. In fact, I have characters on Twisty Nether. So maybe Twisty Nether would have been good for me if I wanted to play Horde. This is just my idea, but you guys choose. Anyway, if you were just interested in your population, then go check this tool out. And like I say, if you are below 400k, then you're not going to have the best time, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. You might like low pop servers, but especially for the economy, it's just going to be such slow sales. And if you're below 300k, then you need to get out. You just need to get out. Uh, so obviously below 300 you need to leave 300 to 400 it's up to you really but I'd still leave and then anything above 400 and 500 those are kind of where I'd want to be if you don't care about economy and just want to have as many guilds as possible to have fun with then maybe the super high pops are for you like I say it's all a matter of your personal opinion next up we have WoW Auction so thanks for my stream for pointing this out. I have used it before, but not in ages. I wasn't actually sure it was still going, but it is. And what this can do is help you sort realms by market volume. So this is if you're very much into the economy side of things. Um, this is like a like shopping basket kind of stuff. So basically shows how good gold is on that server, like how expensive things are. Uh, you don't have to bother about that too much. Market volume kind of gives you a good idea of what the auction house is like. So here we go, like Kazakh, Draenor, Argent Dawn, all the gold makers go there and post transmog. Uh, again, we're seeing some of these big servers that we were looking at before. Uh, Outland's only 11th, which is interesting, so maybe the auction house wouldn't be so bad there. Uh, but there you go, and then Sylvanas is 17th, so again, pretty good. So again, from my experience, anything around Sylvanas' uh, volume is going to sell pretty good. So basically anything in the top 30 or 40. Anything in the top 40 and you'll be okay in terms of sales, especially anything in the top 30. So if you are interested in making gold and selling things quickly, I mean, if all you do is farm, if you love to farm, then maybe you want to be on a low pop server because the items will be... Uh, generally more expensive but then again they'll take longer to sell I just think the perfect sort of size is anywhere from rank 40 to kind of rank 5 uh, or even rank 10 when it gets above rank 10 things kind of get a bit crazy if you're a super keen uh, auction house nerd like myself and you do enjoy undercutting then perhaps one of these servers would also be good. I used to be on Kazakh. I main on Kazakh. I was guild leader of one of the biggest guilds on Kazakh. One of the newbiest guilds, but one of the biggest guilds. And I still make gold on Kazakh, so Kazakh's definitely a, a good server to be on. I'm just saying you're going to get undercut all the time, so you've got to be sort of prepared for that. 
Last thing you kind of might want to do is go onto WoW Progress, of course. Most of you would have heard of this. Uh, you just go onto Realm, you type in your Realm. I typed in Sylvanas, and here we go. It shows you what the guilds are kind of at. So, And I think an R means recruiting, so uh, there's a lot of recruiting guilds here. I suppose most mythic, mythic guilds are always recruiting anyway. Um, but what I will say is check this and see what the progress is like. So here we've got, oh look, it's my guild guys. 39th on the server, professional players. Um, but there we go. You can go on this and see, okay, well there's 40 guilds that have killed at least one mythic boss. In fact, there's more than that. There's almost 50 guilds that have killed a mythic boss. So if you're interested in kind of low level mythic raiding, then this might be quite a good server for you. If we switch things up and go to Outland, uh, again, they've got a lot of guilds around this sort of mark. and But there you go. So only 28 guilds are on 1 out of 9 Mythic, despite the fact that they have so many more people. So we've already looked on WoW Realm Pop. We've seen the population of the server. It's the highest pop. But look, they have a lot less raiding guilds than, say, my server does. So that's a lot more competition for places, obviously, and you might not want to move here, at least if you're interested in raiding. So this is the basic idea, guys. You go onto WoW Realm Pop, you look at ratios, you look at language, you look at Alliance versus Horde, and you look at a relatively good total population. And from there, you can check things like WoW Auction for the economy, and obviously WoW Progress for the guilds that are there. Finally, an even easier way to do this on WoW Progress is you go on to Realms, select your region, so EU, and then you can rank in terms of score, and it does a score in terms of raiding progress compared to population. So here, Ravencrest is by far the best, and if we do look at Ravencrest, look, they've got like five guilds that have completed everything already. How many guilds have they got that are on... At least one out of mythic, a ridiculous number, <laughs> over a hundred. Thought on at least one out of mythic. Um, and remember, Ravencrest was a similar uh, size to Sylvanas, just a bit bigger. So that's why it's scoring so highly, and that's going to be great for you guys who are maybe wanting to raid, especially on Alliance. Again, you can sort by uh, Alliance rankings, etc., etc. This right here is the Raiders, anyone who's killed at least one heroic boss. So this will show you the number of Raiders. For example, Silvermoon is right up there. Uh, obviously, Ravencrest is up there. But again, look, Silvermoon has a much better uh, kind of ranking than Ravencrest for this. So there are a lot more Raiders on Silvermoon, despite the fact that Ravencrest has a lot better progress. So that would suggest it would be much easier to get into a decent raiding guild on Ravencrest uh, than on Silvermoon, where the competition is much higher. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's three tools you can utilize to check a perfect realm for you in case you're wanting to move server. I'm not. As you can see, I quite like my progress, even though Sylvanas might not be the best uh, raiding realm. I didn't really come here for raiding. In fact, I came here for PvP. But uh, there isn't much sort of RBG kind of stuff going on at the moment at all in the game. They seem to have moved to uh, Mythic Plus as the new sort of RBG, the new sort of non-raid competitive content, which is fair enough. I've been doing a lot of Mythic Plus anyway. But yeah, hope you enjoyed, guys. And until next time, see ya.